179. 175. <laughs> Too much discount, okay. <laughs> guys, sorry, this is a lazy guy, lazy guy barbecue style. Proof of talk, right? Hello, what's up? What's up? What's up, questioners? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What's up, beyler boyanlar? Welcome to welcome to another episode of Kuya Alp channel. As you know that in my previous vlog, I was making some Turkish food, but you know what happened? They really like it, and they tell me they make more and more, more and more Turkish food. Then, as a gesture, and I would like to impress my. Uh, relatives and my family therefore I thought it's okay I invite some of our relatives to home and I told them today I will make them a Turkish food okay it will be complete Turkish set I will gonna make Turkish rice I will gonna make Turkish barbecue and I will make some eggplant salad and some green salad and everything will be in a just Turkish style no soy sauce no Filipino style just Turkish style I hope they will gonna like it but before I will cook I need to buy some ingredients okay some I need to buy some items therefore let's go for shopping now guys first stop is SM hypermarket we will buy chicken and we will buy olive oils let's see I hope we can find olive oils and it will not be expensive guys honestly I'm not a big fan of the shopping center but some items like olive oils I can only find in the supermarket. That's why I'm sorry. Guys, what is the another interesting thing in Philippines that you can choose your own meat when you literally you are choosing your in my country I'm sorry I don't wanna compare but I have to you cannot do you will just tell how much gram you will you want but here you are you are choosing Let's find, let's try to find the olive, olive oil, olive oil. So yeah, today, I am, I today I will make a Turkish food. Turkish food, where? Yeah, I will make Turkish food today. today. What? Yeah, see, I buy some chicken. Uh, I will make Turkish barbecue. It will be super namit kit. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Is there any olive oil here? Olive oil. Wow. Nice. Both, I think. Pork thing, I think. So, so one plant. Guys, for the foreigners that first time who come to Philippines, I have one advice. If you will gonna make some shopping, don't do it Sunday because everybody is doing it Sunday. There is nothing we're gonna left. Therefore, do it on Sunday early morning or do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or other day because it's a Sunday is a family day in Philippines. Everybody wants to uh, provide good food to their family. Therefore, nothing left. And not story. I couldn't find wings. I but I have some chicken meats. I, I will try to do something good. I hope they will gonna like it. But first, I need to find an eggplant and some cucumber and tomato in order to for salad. Let's see. Journey in Philippines is continue. Hello, guys, again. Another interesting thing in my country, when you go to a, a supermarket, you can find the vegetables or meat like at the same price or more cheaper according to the market. But in Philippines, in the market, it's really the cheap according to supermarkets. Supermarkets, the price is double, triple. 
therefore the some items yes for they are making campaigns in the, the supermarkets that you can find for a cheaper cheaper price but generally 90% is higher anyway end of the story I need to buy some eggplants and some vegetables yeah onions, yeah, onions. okay tomato okay do you have a bigger tomato no big tomato no okay Then, 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 Discount for 4 pesos. 4 pesos discount. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. God bless. God bless. <laughs> I'm Amen. Okay. Now guys, is the sauce number 2. For this for this sauce is one of the things very important is the rosemary and oregano. This is the main it will give the real taste to meat. And of course we have some olive oil and we have a milk. But I don't know, but in most of the chicken marination sauce, always there's a milk or yogurt because it will, it's saying that I'm not an expert for cooking, but how, however, what I know that it will protect the meat to be get um, to dry while it's cooking. And it will also it will make the, the taste more aromatic. Anyway. No need to talk more. Let's do it. Ah, also though, I forgot to say that we need some garlic. Okay, we will chop garlic. And of course we have a red pepper and we have a black pepper and some cumin seed I organized. Okay. So what's up man? What's up question? <laughs> guys, sorry, it's a lazy guy, lazy guy barbecue style. Can you still make the guys the, the jury came? The testers came. Okay, the jury. Wow. Uncle Abner. Auntie Bra uh, Auntie Brenda. Tata Brenner. <laughs> Tata Brenner. Yeah. And then I saw my own. Yeah. Okay, good. For eggplant, for eggplant salad, I'm cooking the eggplant. Yeah. Hope I'm making my, my marketing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Group of Turks, right? <laughs> Turkish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Guys, the food is ready, salad is ready, jury is ready. You call it, ah, referees, what you call it? Jury. The jury is ready, first pray, after testing. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Hello, this is delicious. This is before and after. Now the, I will gonna ask the jury. Number one. Jury number one. Taste good like heaven. Whoa! Jury number two. Me? me? Nah, meat good. <laughs> <laughs> so delicious, so me favorito. Wow. <laughs> more, more, more. <laughs> Basta. <laughs> Secret. Guys, I think it's approved. I think I'm a little bit more closer to opening a Turkish restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, comment and like the video. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>